If you're anything like me and you don't have looks or intelligence working in your favor, or you haven't found that wealthy cougar that's going to take care of you for the rest of your life, rich aunt, rich uncle, and a trust fund left to you in your name, then this video might be just what you need to get that step ahead in life. This is just going to be a little quick tip troubleshooting video just to show you how to find some wiring if they were not labeled or marred. Shout out to the commenter that left a comment that asked actually a really good question. What do you do if a wiring isn't labeled and marked? Typically you would follow the color code that's on the wire. But if you're even lacking that, then you would go straight to your multimeter. How many times have you saved me now? The name of the game when dealing with motors is trying to accumulate as much information as possible. But if there's any information that's lacking, it's always still possible. You might just have to make a few extra moves. In this case, I want to set my meter to continuity. Then I'm going to look at the diagram for what is involved for a nine wire motor. You should have the same wiring chart on the motor itself. But if it was missing with a quick Google search, you can find it on the first thing to see if your windings are in Y or Delta. I like to use alligator clips. So you're going to clip one clip to your first wire. Chomp, chomp. Now a Y system will have continuity between these two wires, these two wires, and these two wires, and then continuity through these three wires. And Delta windings will have continuity between these three wires, these three wires, and these three wires. Well, how do I check that? The key is to listen for the beat and write down all your information. So the two tools you need is a blank piece of paper and a pen. So now we start the process of elimination. Alligator clip on wire X, other alligator clip on other wire X. So you're basically going to clip to every wire until you find the one that beats, like so. Then you're going to want to mark those two wires or pair them up in a Wago like I do. You basically just need some way to identify that those two hold continuity between them. You can either use Wagos or wire nuts like I'm doing here. Or you could use some kind of numbered label system, but label them to where you understand what's happening. But at some point, there's going to be three wires that read continuity between all three of them. Like this wire here. And that's when you know you found the 7, 8, 9 in the Y system. So now that I found those three that have continuity, there should only be two wires left. And those two leftover wires should hold continuity between them. So now you're going to have four sets of wires, which is exactly covered in the Y system. So if it was delta, it would only be three sets of wires, like so. So based on those sets of wires, you would have to elect three of those wires to be T1, T2, and T3. And with that information, you should be able to get this motor started and make sure that you check the amperage and amp ratings as you run the motor. I hope that was helpful, and I will see you on the next one. Stay safe.